it's Nicole the Math Lady, and today we are rounding decimals. Okay, do you want the good news or the good news first? I'll give you the good news first. This is exactly the same way we round with whole numbers, the same procedure. Let's take a look. I have a nice number here, and if I said, let's round this number to the tenths place, which we, I'm going to go ahead and highlight for you, we know is the two. Okay. First thing we do is we look to the right and we see that that number is one, so it's less than five, which means when we round to the tenths place, we're going to keep this as a 5.2. I'm going to write it over here, tenths. Just the same way we round with whole numbers. Let's try it with another one. Let's round this time to the hundredths place. Highlight the one, look to the right, we see it's a three. We know three is less than five, so we're going to keep our one, and we're going to round to the 5.21, and that's our hundredths place. All right, I fit it. And let's just keep going. Let's go ahead and round this to the thousandths place, which means we're going to highlight the three. I'm going to look to the right, and what do I see? I see an 8, which means we're going to round up. This number 3 goes to a 4, so it'll go to 5.214. That's our thousandths place. So the good news is, if you remember how to round the whole numbers, you also now know how to round decimals. Let's take a look at another example. Take a look at this. Here we have a number, 640 and 354 thousandths. And we want to round this to a number of different locations or places. Let's start with the first one. Let's round this number to the hundreds. Now, because there's no TH on the end, I'm going to put my S there. No TH on the end in hundreds. We're talking about this hundreds. So I'm going to highlight my six. And again, we look to the right, we see it's a 4, which means we get to keep our 6. So this will go to 600. Now let's round this to the hundredths, which means we're going to the decimal side. We know this is the tenths, I'm going to get rid of that this time, the tenths and the hundredths. So there's our 5. Let's look to the right, it's a 4, which means we get to keep our 5 because it's less than 5. So our hundredths is... 640.35. One last one. If I said let's round this to the whole number, that means we want to drop our fraction piece. So we're going to highlight our zero, because that's in the ones place, and look to the right. We see it's a three. We know a three is less than five, so we get to keep our zero. We're going to round this to the whole number, 640. And there you go. As I said, the good news is that if you remember how to do it with whole numbers, consider yourself schooled on how to do it with decimals. All right, make sure you understand by doing some practice problems. I will see you there. Take care. Bye-bye.